Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today's episode, I am just going to go through some of the achievements for Greg Tech, uh, primarily because they are going to lead me in the direction I need to go anyway, and I thought I would just show you some of the achievements that I'm accomplishing. I don't think any of them are going to be a big deal necessarily, but it's you know usually a little bit uh, more fun to follow along. So let's go ahead and start with this one here, craft a universal spade. Now, for some reason, I thought I had already crafted a universal spade, but um, apparently I didn't. So I need a, a few items to make for that. I'm gonna make it out of wrought iron, I believe. I hope I can make one out of wrought iron. So I'm gonna need a wrought iron rod. I'm gonna take one rod and cut it into two wrought iron bolts and if I put those through the polar polarizer, they give me the wrought iron screws. And I need this uh, universal spade head, which is made from filing a regular shovel head, which comes from a steel plate or a plate. So we're going to take a plate like so, and we'll need some tools like a file and a hammer and a screwdriver. All right, so file, plate, that makes a regular shovel head, which now that I think about it, I could have used one of the shovel heads that I already had, but oh well. And then filing that gives me the universal spade head. Uh, kind of strange in my mind, but uh, whatever. So then it looks like one of these and the rod and the screw and a screwdriver makes a universal spade. All right, so achievement get, dun da da da. The universal spade, um, it works as a shovel, like so, good. It also will work, uh, I believe, like an ax, so you can use it to uh, chop down trees. Let me go over here to this tree up here. There you go, see that? Chops down trees. Also uh, gets uh, leaves, which uh, I don't think a shovel or an axe will do. Let's see, if I use a shovel on leaves. No, see, a shovel will not work on leaves. And an axe will not work on leaves. So the universal spade does work on that. Um, there's a few other things that it can do. Uh, essentially, it operates, as I said, as those tools, but if I recall correctly, it doesn't, it's not as efficient, so it will go through its durability faster uh, doing any of those things. Uh, however, it, uh, it can be useful because obviously you can carry a universal spade, since it operates as, a, as an axe and a shovel, uh, you wouldn't have to carry those two, you'd only be carrying one tool instead of two tools. Uh, and whatever else that it replaces. So there is some uh, usefulness to it, obviously. Okay, the next one I'll go ahead and do is make this high pressure boiler. High pressure boiler. Uh, it does require some steel plates and some uh, bricks. The high pressure boiler uh, works similarly to these uh, coal boilers that I already have. They are just, uh, I think they're more efficient or they make the steam faster. They also do burn through the coal faster as well. So there is a trade-off there. But uh, these are pretty easy to make if we have some bricks like so. We go like this with a furnace and then five steel plates. And we have a high pressure coal boiler. I don't think I'm going to actually use it, at least not right now. I may uh, look into things a little bit later to see if that's something that I want to do or not. But that's another achievement down the drains. Okay, the next achievement I'm going to work on is this one here to craft a low voltage conveyor. And at the same time, I'm also going to work on this one to craft a low voltage robot arm. So if we look those up, like so, here's the conveyor 
uh, modules are called conveyor modules and you can see that there are different kinds for the different uh, tiers of voltage and as you can see this one will move one stack every 20 seconds if it's used as a cover and this one would move one stack every five seconds and as you can see they get faster and faster and what that means is that you can use item pipes which also exist in Greg Tech put this on as a cover to that that's attached to say an inventory of some kind and it will move one stack out of that inventory every 20 seconds into the item pipes and then of course they would flow down the item pipe to uh, wherever you might have them going to so that's great the robot arms are somewhat similar you can see there are again different tiers of robot arms and they insert into specific slots when used as a cover so they would take the items from a uh, from an item pipe and I think and then they would put them into a, a particular uh, slot of a machine so uh, say if you wanted to put items into this slot or in this case you might have two different slots that you're putting items into like with an alloy smelter or something like that so let's look at the uh, the recipe for these the conveyor that we're gonna make two motors ten cables and some rubber sheets that's not too terribly hard the rubber sheets will be expensive because I think I mentioned this in the previous video the only way that I know of to make them is using two rubber bars with this uh, plate mold which I made so that I'll have to do and the robot arm let's see cables two motors rods a circuit and electric piston so with all things that we have made so far so I'm gonna work on making those and I'll be back okay so I think I have the necessary components so the first thing I want to make is two conveyor belts like this one two and there's the transport achievement and the next thing I'm going to make are these robot arms and I'm gonna make two of those as well and so pistons electric motors and some steel rods boom two robot arms achievement get for complex machines so awesome so awesome so let's go look at our achievements now and so I've got this transport so I need to make a machine controller for the next one in this complex machine the next thing to make is the LV assembler and I do want to make the LV assembler so let's go look at what that requires basic assembling machine so I'm gonna need two robot arms and two conveyor modules that's really convenient that I made two of those isn't it uh, two circuits two tin cables and a machine hull now I think I still have two circuits here like this and I don't have the necessary ingredients to make the machine hull so I'm gonna work on that real quick it won't take long I just need to make some steel plates mostly okay so machine hull conveyor modules um, robot arms here and here electronic circuits oops like this and some tin cables and we have the basic assembling machine dun, 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 Avengers assemble achievement get awesome okay let's go back and look at these achievements so I've got that and I can make an item filter now this item filter this machine controller and uh, a few other uh, this shutter cover these circuits a lot of these other things are made in the assembler which is why I wanted to uh, get down this path to make an assembler and the assembler is pretty much like all the other machines that we've seen we uh, attach it to some power first like that and if we look at these recipes look at that 1546 recipes everything from making large turbines to field generators to leads uh, there's another turbine what's that gold cables look I can even make a diamond sword there's all kinds of things that are made in this assembler it's really a very useful item it's used to make a lot of things so yes 
Okay, so at this point I want to make two uh, machines and I've made all the parts for them here. So the first one I want to make is called the ore washing plant and it's made like this. So let's go ahead and see how much of this I remember. This is always the challenge, right? Like I, I uh, make a, I look at the recipe, but then I have to try to remember how to put it all together. So there we have the basic or washing plant. Good. And the next one is the thermal centrifuge. And it looks like this with all these parts. And I guess I could do that, which would make things easier. But sometimes I feel like I should challenge my memory a bit, make it a little harder. But maybe that's just a silly way of doing things. And there we have the basic thermal centrifuge. And both of these run on low voltage power. Now, what these are used for is for ore processing. These two machines allow me to extract a little bit more out of the ores. There's an entire processing chain based upon uh, working with ores. But for example, let's take this sulfur ore. If I put it through a macerator first, I get this crushed sulfur ore. And then at that point, what I've been doing is that I hammer it into impure sulfur dust, uh, then wash it and get uh, regular sulfur dust. Uh, I could also, you know, that's from just washing it. But the other thing I could do is I could take that crushed sulfur ore and put it through an ore washing plant. You'll see I'd get a tiny pile of sulfur dust and then this purified sulfur ore. That purified sulfur ore I can then put through a thermal centrifuge and get another tiny pile of sulfur dust. Now each one of these tiny piles of sulfur dust is one ninth of a full sulfur dust. So this centrifuge sulfur ore I could then uh, hammer it and then I would have you know a piece of sulfur dust or uh, I could put it or I guess that's probably all that I can uh, do with it. So basically by putting it through the uh, ore washing plant and the thermal centrifuge I end up with a little bit more of that substance than I would without running it through these two machines. So with sulfur, it works kind of that way, but with, with some other types of ores, you end up with even better type of a return. So let's look at something like bauxite ore, right? This gets crushed into a box, crushed bauxite ore, and then when it runs through an ore washing plant, I get some of this grossular dust. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. And then you can see I get a piece of rutile dust. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's look at something like this aluminium ore. Aluminium ore, if I macerate it and then run it through here, I get a tiny pile of bauxite dust. And then run it through thermal centrifuge and I get another tiny pile of bauxite dust. So in addition to getting uh, the aluminium, I'm also getting some um, bauxite dust as well. As, as well. <laughs> and then this ilmenite ore, okay? If I put that through, then of course, a little bit of iron. Oh, that's interesting. And then a little bit of rutile dust. So the ore washing plant and the thermal centrifuge allow me to get a little bit more out of my, my ores and uh, basically kind of get a little bit more efficient on that. I haven't plugged them into my electrical system yet because I'm really not generating enough electrical power to run these machines. I'm going to have to build at least one more of the uh, steam turbines uh, in order to power things here. But I just wanted to show these items because, you know, I have I've made them. So I wanted to show what I have made. Um, but uh, that is actually going to do it for this particular episode. Uh, I believe in the next episode, I'm going to work towards building a large boiler, a large bronze boiler, which means I need to step up my bronze production because I don't think I have enough. But anyway, if you have any questions or comments, if you have any tips, tricks, hints, uh, criticisms, if you have some ideas of what I should be doing uh, or if I'm doing something wrong, please leave any of that for me down in the comment section below. Your comments are extremely helpful to me and I use a lot of them as guidance because 
quite frankly, I really don't know what I'm doing 94% of the time. So as always, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.